Hello, Exchange Beauty Tribe, and welcome to another incredible Beauty Live. I am your host again, Emily, filling in for Dora one last time before she comes back. Um, and we are talking about something that is one of my favorite um, topics to talk about, fragrance, and one of the most incredible brands with one of the most incredible people. So today we are talking everything Burberry with Heather. Heather, how's thank it going? You. Fragrance extraordinaire. Oh, thank you, Emily. And you know what? I'm so glad that you are filling in because we've done this before. So I'm glad that if this is your last time, it's with me. Oh, yes. I love that. And we're both cat lovers. We just so. found that out. Yes, we did just found that we both <laughs> love cats. We both have cats. So that makes the connection even better. I feel mm -hmm. like. Exactly. Yes. But we're so excited you're here. You're going to talk about everything Burberry for him and her, which is super exciting. Before yes. we can get off though, um, we want to know where you guys are watching from. So be sure to like this live and drop in the comments uh, your name and where you're watching from or what store you're at. Um, and if you have any questions for Heather throughout the show or you want to rave about your favorite Burberry fragrance, please let us know. We want to hear about it. We want to talk about it and we want to answer your questions. Um, yeah. So let's get to the fun part. Heather, yes. <clears throat> I okay, see behind so you. You've got some exciting things to talk to us about. So this is, Emily, this is very, very exciting because Burberry got us this amazing new fragrance right here. It just launched, okay, we're, today's the fourth. It launched on the first. So the fact that we're talking about this brand new fragrance and you guys are getting to see it and smell it if you're in stores is huge. Um, Emily did mention that we are also going to talk about Burberry men's and that is the hero to the goddess. So, but before we talk about this, let me talk about this new fragrance. So goddess, now why goddess? You know, the word goddess, um, let's talk about like a modern day goddess. It's just, you know, this strong feminine, you know, nature. The other thing Emily and I were talking about before we got on was how this full moon definitely has affected a lot of things that are going on. And I feel like we need to tap into our inner goddess to give us strength. Yes. Some of these days <laughs> when maybe your luggage doesn't get on the plane with you or things like that that have happened this week. Um, <laughs> right. But, right. <laughs> but we all have that inner goddess within us. And, you know, this is a brand new fragrance for Burberry. If any of you out there have seen this new ad campaign, it's the symbol for this new fragrance is a lioness. And how perfect because a lioness is all about symbolizing strength, mm -hmm. fearness, determination. I mean, natural born leader is a lioness. So it's a perfect symbol for this new fragrance. Now, the it ingredient for fragrances for this season is vanilla. And this particular new fragrance, Burberry Goddess, has three types of, of vanilla in it. Um, I'll talk about that in just a moment. Oh, you have, Emily, you have a Rotella? Oh, I do. I know. <laughs> I was trying to stay really low key, but I may have just run out the day this launched and got this right away. And I, sorry to like, just jump in, but that answers my question of why it has this sweet, but not super sweet right. smell, but it's that vanilla you're talking about, right? No, it is. And so, you know, a vanilla is like, it's a vanilla bean or vanilla pod. And what they've actually done, it's super fascinating they've taken three different types of ways of extracting the scent from vanilla. So, and I've actually been able to smell the different types of vanilla and it is crazy. It's literally, they smell like completely different scents. So there's vanilla infusion, which is kind of like the traditional way that they extract a scent It's they steam, they put steam around the vanilla and then the, that steam is that infusion. Now mixed with that in the top note, you have lavender and lavender is that flower that's um, it's kind of, it's earthy, it's powdery, it's not too florally. Then you have vanilla caviar, which, you know, obviously sounds really decadent, right? It's very fancy. <laughs> when you see a vanilla bean, it's actually literally, it almost looks like caviar. It's the beans inside the vanilla. So that's the caviar. And then lastly, the vanilla absolute, which is like the strongest, most concentration. It's where they take all of, they basically um, heat the vanilla bean and the oil that comes from that is the concentrate. 
So it's, and it's so amazing. Like this is such a beautiful, like delicious fragrance. It's, you know, the marketing words are it's sophisticated and elegant, but I want to add that it's also sensual and warm. I mean, it's just, you know, if anybody has seen me on these lives before, you know, one of the things I always talk about is layering fragrances and wearing more than one fragrance. And this is that perfect fragrance to have as your base because, you know, this is an eau de parfum. It's a long lasting fragrance. And these warm vanilla tones mixed with any kind of fragrance, um, if you want it to layer, is just such a beautiful, beautiful combination. Um, now let's talk about this bottle because the bottle I think does look very sophisticated, right? And it just feels sophisticated. It so the, now the cap, <laughs> there's some history. I love, like, I love the history behind, you know, what goes into the making of these products. So the cap itself is from the very first Burberry fragrance that came out in 1991. I'm sure there's people out there that weren't even born in 1991. Um, 1991, the first Burberry women's fragrance was called Society. So this is literally the exact cap from that fragrance. That's awesome. Isn't that? It's and a little piece of history. I love that. And then the box and the packaging has kind of like that um, color of the, you know, what Burberry is really known for is the trench coat, right? And that gabardine fabric, that waterproof fabric is, you know, represented on the box. Let's see, what other goodies? So in um, talking to the perfumer, which I didn't do, but somebody interviewed the perfumer, Amandine Clare, you know, they said, what was your inspiration for creating this fragrance? Because, you know, she's given the name of the fragrance. Goddess, Burberry Goddess was the name. And she said the reason why she chose vanilla to be the hero ingredient for this fragrance was that, you know, vanilla is a warm and inviting scent it's something that kind of appeals to everyone she said it's just so it really is symbolic of women it's a strong scent it's a very powerful note in a fragrance vanilla is one of those notes like I said will last so much longer than like a lot of your floral notes a lot of your fruit notes so I just love all of the symbolism from why the perfumer create you know use these notes the name goddess to represent the strength of today's modern woman and then the symbolism of the lioness who is all throughout the ad campaign it's just all around just this women empowerment moment with this new fragrance I love that it's like it's the year of the woman but it should be the year of the woman every year <laughs> it is well it is Emily it not should be it is yes <laughs> You're every right. Outdoor, you're right. I apologize. You don't. Um, you're don't. right. <laughs> no. Yeah. I don't. I'm not sorry. And you're what not. I do love about this um, bottle is I don't know how other people at home feel, but I like to keep my bathroom counter empty. I don't like to put anything on it. But there are occasional. There are some items that do make the list of being yeah. allowed to stay on the counter. Yeah. This is one of them because this is beautiful. This is almost, you know, usable art is right. what I feel like. And I didn't know about the cap. So now it's like an history. Yes. So it's pretty incredible. It is. Well, and, you know, Burberry is a company. Burberry has been around since 1856. So there is, you know, talk about history within the brand. There's a lot of history. Um, so we'll take a little side route and talk a moment about um, Burberry Goddess's hero. And of course, that is literally the fragrance Burberry hero. So this is one of those, for, first of all, over the last, I want to say since 2018, Burberry has done no wrong. Like every fragrance that Burberry has put out from Burberry Her to Burberry Hero to now Burberry Goddess, they cannot do any wrong. This is like sophisticated but clean and fresh like this is what our men love to smell like you know what it's funny when asked a lot of the men in the U.S. like what do you want your fragrance to smell like the number one thing they say clean so it's just like you want something I and I interpret that as like when you smell it you almost like it wakes you up you know it's like this fresh so with this fragrance bergamot is the top note and you might be saying what the heck is a bergamot well <laughs> Kind of you like, are reading my mind right I am. now. <laughs> We're like, 
and probably a lot of people out there as well. So bergamot is kind of like a hybrid between a lime and a lemon. So it has like a citrus, citrus note. And that's that like when you first smell it, it kind of, you know, wakes you up um, note. In the heart of the fragrance, black pepper, so a little bit of spiciness, and then juniper. So it's got citrus, spice, and floral. But the most amazing thing is in the base of the fragrance, we have three types of cedarwood. We have Himalayan, Atlas, and Virginian cedarwood. So just like we have three ways of extracting the vanilla in Goddess, we've got three types of cedarwood in the Burberry Hero for him. Now, as special and as amazing, the, this is the Eau de Toilette. We also have the Eau de Parfum. And I love this bottle. I'm such a visual person. Like when I saw this bottle, like it just, it just looks like it's going to be like warmer and more intense and richer. So Emily, let me just tell you my combination this morning that I, that I did, I sprayed this first followed by Burberry goddess on top and try. Oh, I need to try that. Um, yes. So you've got this because, okay, let me tell you the notes that are in Eau de Parfum. So you have all of the cedar woods that are in um, the Eau de Toilette, but the top note in this is pine needle. It's so different. Interesting. It's, oh, it's so interesting. So you've got pine needle, the cedarwood trio, and then the dry down is this note called benzoin, which benzoin really kind of smells like a mixture between like caramel and vanilla. So you, oh, so I knew that this combo was going to be so good. So, so I just did it. And that is very nice. But that just, is a nice. And wait like 15 minutes because I did this like two hours ago. And okay. that, yeah, it's amazing. So here, I love the story behind the perfumer's inspiration for this fragrance. So there is a forest in France called the Lans Forest. And when you're facing the forest, you see the pine trees, you smell the pine, but literally behind you is the beach. So he said this fragrance is literally that, that moment where you smell the pine, but you smell the sea surf. And it's just that, that moment that you, I live in Oregon. So actually we have this, we have the forest that meets the ocean, but it's such a, it's an amazing, weird, like eclectic, you've got like deer on the ocean, on the beach because they're coming out of the, out of the forest into, but that's the inspiration for the Eau de Parfum. Now, one more thing that I know that you all have also is the Burberry Hero hair and body wash for him. So this, by the way, is something that I feel like is overlooked quite a bit when it comes to purchasing products um, with fragrances, especially with men. But this is a game changer. And here's why. Most men, a lot of, say, a lot of men use a body wash already, but it's like a... Um, Lever 2000, Axe, um, what are some of the other ones? Irish Spring, right? Those type of body washes. Because they're easy. It's like, a, it's everything in one. What it also is, they're antibacterial. So what that's designed to do is it's designed to keep scents off of your body, which is a good thing for bad scents. But what it also does is it keeps the good scents off of your body. So when you're using, when men are using these antibacterial body washes, they go to use their fragrances and they're like, why is my fragrance not lasting? Well, the body wash can't differentiate between a good smell and a bad smell. So it's like trying to repel the fragrance. So when you actually have something that is already scented in the fragrance that you're, you're wearing, plus it's, it's literally just a soap. It's not antibacterial. It's still cleansing you and getting you clean, but it's allowing your fragrance to stay on your skin. I love that. Um, and I think that's the perfect setup, you know, for any man. But I also will say, I do like that, you know, I understand goddess is for us. I'm sorry, you guys. I am like fighting with my ring light today. Um, no apology. That's right. I'm not sorry. <laughs> my ring light really wants to take a nap right now. But what I do love is that it, this is kind of for everyone that we can use, you know, this is just across the board, whatever you want to use, whatever scent. Um, you want to smell like it's 
we're not, you know, defined to one scent, which I love. But can we also talk about this magnetic lid? I know. Or cap? It's, right? It's <laughs> those small details, but I do love it that it's just like, it's like grabbing it back. It's like, I know. <laughs> right. You'll know it's always secure. And yeah. um, I'm pretty clumsy. So even just dropping this or knocking it over, I feel really confident this sucker is going to stay on. And I do. I love every detail of not even just the notes in the fragrance, but just the bottle itself yeah. is awesome. Fabulous. No, you know, and like to your point, you just made about where being able to wear what you want at the end of the day, everybody it's scented water. You know, we've just gotten accustomed to this is what a man should smell like. This is what a woman should smell like. But, you know, I love when somebody comes up to me and they're like, oh my gosh, you smell so good. What is it? Well, they can't tell because I've created my own. Like I just, I love to, you know, wear things that appeal to me. And, you know, as a couple, if you have these, you know, in the rest, in the bathroom, wherever you have your fragrances, you know, it's so funny because I hear from women all the time that they're like, yeah, my husband, my boyfriend always sprays a little bit of my fragrance. You know, women, we feel like we're a little bit more open to trying things. It's so funny. I'm like, you guys, men, you realize that if you spray a little bit of this fragrance, the bottle's not stuck to your shirt throughout the day. Like <laughs> nobody knows that you've added some, you know, women's. So it's just get creative, you know? And also like when you wear the fragrance, put it on your skin, the areas, you know, where you have thinner skin, um, your pulse points, you know, your wrists behind the ear, when it's on your skin, it becomes unique to yourself because we all have our own, you know, natural sense, especially things that have vanilla. Like that's one of those animalic notes that really come to life and really change on everyone that wears them. So, you know, if anybody out there has not experimented with trying, you know, a little bit of his or a little bit of hers, do it. You know, it's, it's, it's a fragrance, you know, it's not going to change anything about you other than you're going to smell amazing. Yes. And exactly how you want to smell. Right. Uh, yeah. That's what I think is incredible. And that's what I love about um, the layering technique is because, you know, you could have the same fragrance as someone else, but putting your own unique spin on it um, and really just making it your own is incredible yeah and i did want to jump really quickly into the chat we have a lot of chatter going on about burberry and burberry goddess and um we do have people all over watching i know um we have fort cavazos eglin um we have people coming from virginia beach and everything and um liz says i wear burberry brit every day but now want to add this to my fragrance wardrobe Yes. You yes. should, Liz. Why not? And, you know, get creative. Layer all of your Burberries together. I mean, this is the time. Um, <laughs> I, love, I love that. And then, um, so Kara said, vanilla is a men's favorite fragrance on a woman. So she is very, and this is one of those things, like, if you have a fragrance that has vanilla in it, you are guaranteed to have some man say, what are you wearing? What stuff? Because it appeals. We, are, we already know the quickest way to a man's heart is through his stomach, right? And because vanilla smells, it's, it's what we call a gourmand fragrance because it has it's like gourmet. It has notes that smell edible and vanilla is that note. So watch out. Just, I'm telling you, this is, you're going to get stopped wearing this um, for sure. I thing. love that. That's really interesting. I didn't really um, think about that, but that definitely makes sense with the the vanilla. Yep. Um, and maybe that's why one of my favorite candles in my house is a vanilla cookie because that's, it makes uh, me think of, you know, the best thing ever, which is cookies or yeah. cake or donuts. I love it all. But um, <laughs> we have Letty from um, Fort Moore watching and we have Marion from Fort Carson. Uh, Letty says that she's gotten a lot of compliments um, when she wore goddess and um, and then Margaret is, let's see, Margaret is at Lackland and she said that um, she's at the Lackland store. She said yeah. she just sold a Burberry Hero. So we just had a very, very happy, about to smell really incredible customer. So yes, that is... <laughs> That is awesome. Fort Bliss. I and mean, we have stores all over the world um, watching and customers from all over the world awesome. watching as well. Um, Joanne says she loves the perfume. 
and uh, Michelle is saying hello from Nellis and we someone's husband wears Burberry hero and they love it and I love the Burberry heroes these are incredible and I love that you know this is a good layer with the goddess I, it's incredible and I feel like the smell keeps getting better as I smell That's it I'm, yeah. I'm telling you yes yeah that is good. awesome well we have had so much love in the chat and um heather thank you so much for spending time with us today and um but i also know there's a special going on right there there is there is a there is a special going on 15 percent off 15 right? percent off today and okay. tomorrow which yeah. by the way is usually <laughs> It is clearly Friday, yes, and I did not want to hold that to myself. So Heather, thank you for letting the cat out of the bag. Well, but no, but this is yes, where's yes. the cat? Yes, but this is right. huge, especially <laughs> because with the brand new fragrance, I know that it excludes gift sets, but today and tomorrow the discount applies. And I mean, with or without the discount, you guys have to round out get these. But the discount makes it even more sweet, right? Right. It makes it incredible. So that's 15% off Burberry fragrances on our already everyday low prices, tax free. So this is the time to get it. And, you know, I was just talking with someone else, Heather. It's a great opportunity to get things that you want to wear now, but we're already in August, which means we're going to start getting re ready for. Don't say it. The holidays, <laughs> the holidays is coming. Know, and this is an amazing, incredible opportunity to load up on all of these incredible fragrances and the hair and body wash and everything else you need. They make excellent gifts yeah. um, for friends, family members, yourself, you know, just everything. So yes, yeah, so thank you for um sharing that incredible promotion 15 percent off burberry online and in stores where um burberry is sold in our stores so that's incredible thank you i'm just i've been so excited to to talk with you i've just i've just forgotten everything else you said cats and now i'm like let's just talk about cats, cats and fragrances all day we are the lionesses that are in charge of our prides of cats that are <laughs> trying to keep at bay that <laughs> <laughs> exactly exactly this is incredible and i want to thank you so much heather for joining us today um and i want to thank the beauty tribe at home for watching and spending time with us and reminder one more time 15 percent off burberry fragrances for a limited time um online and in store and this is already on it's on top of our already everyday low prices so this is now the time to load up on everything Burberry. Um, until next time, Beauty Tribe, we will see you. Heather, thank you so much. And I hope everyone has an excellent weekend. Thank you, everyone.